Hey, excuse me over there. I don't need a disclaimer. This is my channel. I give it to your pets. If you don't have one, maybe I give it to your best friend. If you don't have that either, hmm, I can't help you. All opinions are mine, and that's that. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the Delphinator here, and this Equilateral, is a few quick trapezoid, isosceles, tetrahedron. I have never seen a mind like the one your daughter has. You have to see what she becomes. Let's talk about hidden figures. After the boycott of the Oscars by African Americans last year and the oh so anxiety inducing hashtag Oscars so white, it seems a lot of changes have been made in Hollywood this time around. At least nine African Americans were nominated for the Oscars this year. So hooray! <laughs> and Hidden Figures was nominated for three. <laughs> It is such a riveting film based on an unbelievably true story which gives a glimpse into history. There is no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for men circling the earth either, sir. Hidden figures spotlights, better still, floodlights three female African American real life superheroes. Unfortunately, only one of them, Katherine Johnson, is alive to witness their story captured in film. These brave women had the odds stacked up against them. They were discriminated against because of the color of their skin and their gender. This wasn't empty last night. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not the... But they soon jumped over these hurdles while displaying their brilliance and creating value at NASA. Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, and Dorothy Vaughn, known as the Human Computers, contributed to astronaut John Glenn's mission in becoming the first American to orbit the Earth. Now eat that! These characters were brought to life in stunning performances by Taraji P. Henson, Janelle Monet, and Octavia Spencer, respectively. I hear that Taraji got to meet Katherine Johnson before principal photography to discuss the film. Apparently, Katherine was only 14 years old when she graduated high school and 18 when she graduated college. Wow, intelligent, right? And at 98 years old, she was as lucid as anyone years younger. They're not amazing. They were ordinary things at the time. And I'd do them over if I had to do over. I would. Taraji recounts that Catherine genuinely wondered why anyone would want to make a film about her. Are you kidding me, ma'am? You're awesome! I guess no one ever told you that. Talk about humility. Huh. <sighs> Although the movie takes you through mathematical concepts, you do not actually need to understand math to follow the story. The movie was directed by Theodore Melfi and co-produced by Pharrell Williams. Speaking of Pharrell Williams, he did what he always does. He took us on a musical ride in this film. Yup, he sure did. Pharrell, the sharpshooter, new father of triplets, worked on the score of this one alongside the legend, his good friend and mentor, Hans Zimmer. How awesome is that? That Hans Zimmer is your mentor. Cool stuff. The budget of the film is estimated at $25 million and it has grossed over $119 million so far. That's something, huh? So guys, it's award season and we already know that Hidden Figures won big at the SAG Awards. It's no surprise that they clinched the prize of the night for best ensemble in a motion picture. And in accepting the award, actor Taraji P. Henson said, This story is of unity. This story is about what happens when we put our differences yes. aside and we come together as a human race. We win. Love wins every time. Aww. Well, let's see if y'all win at the Oscars too. Fingers crossed. I give it a four Jalof rating, guys. Go check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? It's the Delphinator here. Always great hanging with you guys. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and share. Until the next one, toodles.